What's quite lacking guys, I'm a duck quack here, welcome back to another investment video on the channel. So as we know, foot birthday is coming up this week, well yeah, basically this week anyway, and there is going to be a ton of events no doubt with this. Now if you follow my channel, then you realise that we've already spoke about this about a week, maybe two weeks ago, and we were saying that, well I was saying that I could see them doing something very similar to what they did at Footmas, where they released the free players a day squad builder challenges, based on the player's kit number corresponding to the actual date it was. Now personally, because it's foot birthday, I could see them releasing players based on their birthdays. So if Czech was born on the first of the month, for example, he'd be released on day one. He's been on the 20th of the month, so if it went on to 20, there'd be a chance of Czech. That's just guesswork though. It could be similar to Footmas, it could be nothing like that at all. We won't find out until they release it. But that brings us back to the actual investments that we're going to make. Now, this is exactly what I told you guys to invest in last time. What I advised you guys, should I say. And I still believe that these are going to be the safest investments. So as you can see here, we've just got a squad of 85 plus rated players. Now, if we think back to the Squad Builder Challenges released at Christmas, there were the likes of Vidal, Aubameyang, Dybala. There were big, big name players. And for these teams, you needed a high rated squad, obviously alongside in some situations the actual player themselves. Now if you want to guess what they're going to do, so if you think it's kit numbers, if you think it's birthdays, and you can guess some big name players that might be released, and you feel like they might require the actual player themselves as well, you could make an absolute killing on this. But that's a lot of guesswork involved, and there's a high chance that you get it wrong. So the safer options are just going to be investing in high rated players. Now if we look at Czech for example, He's going for around 10,000 coins, maybe just over. Now, this is roughly, he's been about 9,000 at points, but this is about the cheapest he's ever been. And you can pick him up for about eight, 9,000 coins if you're patient with bidding and sniping. Now, the reason I believe that these guys are such a good investment is because nobody's talking about them. So their price, regardless, are going to hover around this. If they're not required at all, then maybe they will dip a bit with the amount of packs that are opened. Worst case scenario. But if you're covering players that are going to be used elsewhere, so if we take an example of the Bundesliga players that I've got in the squad, ironically they're all Bayern Munich basically, but if the Lewandowski SBC came out and you needed these players, then you're not going to lose on that investment. It covers two sides. Again, this is something I've mentioned before. These high-rated players, they're going to be in demand at some point. Squad builder challenges will be released that require you to have a high rating again. Whether it's for team of the season, which is obviously quite a long way away. We don't want to be holding investments till then. If it's the league SBCs, or even if Lukaku were to win player of the month and you needed a high rated BPL team. You can pick up players that cover both categories, hence giving you a massive chance of success. Now my issue about investing in what everyone else is investing in, so the 83 and 84 rated players, is that everybody's doing it. So, so many people are starting to invest in these players because you've needed them before. So yes, there may be Team of the Week SBCs that require 83 slash 84 rated players. And yes, they may rise a little bit in price. But the amount of people that have been holding on to these players and not discarding them. For example, when you open packs, a lot of big spenders would just discard all these players. But since the Team of the Week SBCs became more routine, everybody's been holding them in their club, including me, including all of you probably. We've probably all got 83, 84 rated players, and then we've got the people that have invested in these cards on top of it, and then we've got the players who are only starting to invest now, and the prices have just got higher and higher, yet there's going to be a ton of them on the people's accounts ready to go. On top of this, we've got all the packs to be opened, and there's just going to be so many of them. So I'm not saying that it's a bad investment, I'm just saying that it's not going to be as good as something like this that nobody else is currently looking at. Right guys, so the next thing we're going to look at is going to be special cards. Now if we think back again to Footmas, and we use the foundation that they used back before, they required different special cards for different players. So sometimes it was Team of the Week, sometimes it was Movember, one time it was even Screen Players. Man of the Match cards are the new big thing. So not only Man of the Match cards, but we have got Irish players as well. Now the reason I don't think they'll include Irish players is because they already had an SBC that soaked up so many of them. 
But there is a chance that they do. So if you can pick these guys up for discard value as well, you're not having any kind of risk. And if for any reason you need an Irish special card in these, then they're going to triple in price fairly easily. You've also got your Man of the Match cards. Now, probably not the 74 rated silver cards, but if you can bid on the gold ones for discard value and you require a Man of the Match card, then you're going to make profit off these as well. Now, the same logic goes to why I'm not suggesting we go for informs. Yes, they may be needed. Yes, they may slightly raise in price. But firstly, everybody's expecting it. So, so many people have already invested in these cards. Secondly, we're on about week 30 or whatever of the year now. So, there are so many discard team of the week cards available that there's a chance that the supply could still outweigh demand. Yes, it may raise a little bit, but will it raise enough to make the investment worthwhile? Personally, I prefer taking a slightly riskier gamble, picking up these kind of players. I bet this guy's quite a good deal, actually. Probably should have bought him for 11,000. Yeah, uh, picking up these Man of the Match cards. If they're needed, fantastic. If they're not needed, well, we can just sell them on for the same amount. Same with these Irish cards. You can probably pick some of these up for around discard. And if they aren't required in the Squad Builder Challenges, we lose nothing. But we're taking an approach that not many people are thinking of, which just makes it absolutely incredible for us if they pay off. Like this guy, see, 12,000 coins. We could probably make a profit on him just buying him and selling him now. The other thing I've just seen is the Belgium Man of the Match goalkeeper. Now, this one's a really big risk, and it's related to the Lukaku Player of the Month if you want to win it. But if they require a Belgium Man of the Match card, then this guy is an absolute steal for 10,000 coins. 8,000 coins here. Again, this one's a big, big gamble, though. There's no guarantee that that's going to pay off. You've got to actually believe that well, firstly, Lukaku's going to win it. And secondly, there's a chance that you're going to need a Belgium special card. And if so, then well, take a gamble, go crazy. But if you can see, just from refreshing the page, waiting slowly and seeing how many are listed, there are always new cards being put on the market. So there's so much potential for us to invest in the upcoming foot birthday. So guys, just to clarify before we end the video here, what we want to be doing is looking at picking up things that people haven't really invested in. So like I mentioned, the 8384s, it's completely overused. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's doing it. It's too big a risk now to investing it at this point because if it doesn't come good, you're going to make a huge loss. Whereas these high-rated players, these man-of-the-match cards, these Irish cards, all of these different cards that nobody's currently investing in could be an absolute goldmine if they're needed. And on the flip side, if they're not needed, we're going to break even just selling them. It's so easy to invest at the moment. It's not going to be guaranteed profit, but it's not going to be a guaranteed loss either, which is what you need from investing. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this short video and you found it useful in any way, if you could drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and comment if you've got any questions, then that would be incredible. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.